Hello, I'm John Garcia, and today we are going to be reading Oh Say Can You Say Dinosaur. I'm the cat in the hat. You have met me before. Today I will speak on the great dinosaur. Dinosaurs lived on the earth long ago before you and me. So how do we know? From fossils. Dinosaur teeth, eggs, and bone got stuck in the muck. Then that muck turned into stone. These fossils are old, they are dusty and worn, because they were made long before you were born. Dinosaur hunters dig in the ground. All over the earth, these fossils are found. The hunters use tools to chip chip all day. The fossils come loose, then they pack them away. To the dinosaur labs, every bone, tooth, and bit is carefully shipped to see how they fit. Step up and enter the museum hall where dinosaurs stand. Some are big, some are small. Here we will play the best of all games. Oh, say can you say the dinosaur's names? And after you said them, and then you get to see them in the Cat in the Hat's Super Dino Museum. Dinosaur names are not easy to read, but give it a try. I will help if you need. Oh, say can you say Ankylosaurus. Ankylosaurus. With the club for a tail and a back full of spikes, this dino is strong like an army tank. Yikes. Now can you say Myasaura? Myasaura. There's one thing we know that this dino did best. She kept your kids cozy and safe in their nest. She kept the nest tidy. She got her kids food. She was a good mother to her dino brood. Now say Tyrannosaurus Rex. You said that quite nicely. Now you'd better go. T-Rex is no kidding. I think you should know. This T-Rex was strong with long, sharp teeth as knives. When most dinos saw him, they ran for their lives. T-Rex was a hunter. He hunted for meat. Only dinosaurs were his idea of a treat. Oh, say can you say Triceratops. Triceratops. This dinosaur's head had three horns upon it, sticking up out of the hard sort of bonnet. But though he was smaller and not half as fierce, his head was too hard for T-Rex teeth to pierce. So after a few dozen snaps at his face, T-Rex looked for dinner in some other place. Oh, say can you say a patosaurus? A patosaurus. I've gone this rather tall ladder here for us to see eye to eye with a patosaurus. These dinos long neck reach up high into the trees where they fed on green leaves, just as much as they please. Now can you say Brachiosaurus, Brachiosaurus. This dino was taller than 51 feet. And just how much food do you think he could eat? Nearly as much as a truckload of hay is what he would gobble day after day. Oh, say, can you say Iguanodon, Iguanodon? What he did with this thumb, we think that we know. We think that he used it to jab at his foe. Now say Dinonicus, Dinonicus. Terrible claw is what the name means. We think that this dinosaur hunted in teams. Can you say Archaeopteryx? Archaeopteryx. This fine feathered friend is the earliest known. This bird might have glided. This bird might have flown. One thing we must ask, and we must be quite firm. If this bird was so early, did he catch the worm? It's getting late now. I see night is falling. The museum is closing. Your mother is calling. Before you head home, dear Sally and Dick, 
I have a surprise that is really quite slick. This dino is the earliest cat that is known. No one has seen it. It's never been shown. It's super terrific. It stands here before us. Oh, say, can you say? Cat in the hat, Saurus. And that is our reading. Thank you.